Hello, sweet souls. Happy Monday, June 5th. This will be your full link reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. Um, if you're interested in purchasing my deck, I will add the email. Um, also, don't forget about my drawing. Um, it ends June 30th. It's $5 to enter. Each time you enter, I put your name in my little container and I will draw it on June 30th. First prize is 20 minute reading. Second is um, the tarot deck, Tasha the Brain Guidance tarot deck. The third is a selenite bracelet with the sterling silver dragonfly. So, okay, we're gonna call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're gonna call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. What does the collective need to know? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, first thing I'm getting is you may re be receiving a message from a soulmate. Now this, the energy that I'm getting is someone from the past that is a karmic soulmate because they're in their thoughts now. You're staying in the moment, you're staying in the here and now, you're living in a space of love and gratitude, you're not focused on the past, you're focused on the here and now. And you're also focused on healing with the mending card. You're healing. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a past person because underneath that, I have somebody wants to put in the work and they're not for you. This is not, this person's a karmic. So that's what this reading is going to be about, it looks like. So let's see. Let's see what comes out. Okay. Yeah. Tower. And three of swords, heartbreak. All right, let's see. Let's clarify a message and a bottle. Please clarify message and a bottle. <laughs> yeah, this is someone that deceived you. What did I tell you? Message in a bottle. Yeah. <sighs> They're gonna tell you that they want to heal the situation, but it's an illusion. It's not real. Okay, just clarify soulmates. Yeah, look at this. This person now is seeing that you were the gift, you were the blessing. This person put 10 swords in your back. Could be a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone in that fiery energy. Doesn't have to be that particular sign. Yeah, player is experiencing a tower or they will in the near future. Okay, please clarify thinker. They're thinking about the karma that they know they will receive for what they've done to you. Justice is in the upright. This is definitely good karma for you. And whoever did this to you, whoever went against you, whoever hurt you, they're going to receive karma. Mm. Yeah. This is someone who had deep emotion for you but refused to put in the work. So you walked away. You were forced to walk away from the situation. You're a divine femme energy. And you're not about to compete for anyone's time or attention. Um, and you're not putting up with people's lies because you're the high priestess, highly intuitive, very connected, and you know the truth. You can't be fooled or deceived. You know the truth because God tells you the truth. Okay. Please clarify here and now. Yeah. So whoever your past person is, they went to a gold digger. And that cycle is closing for them. It's ending and it's putting them in a stuck energy. They are haunted by the memory of the things they did to you now that this karmic situation that they got into isn't working the way they thought that it would. Mm. One more for here and now. Yeah, exactly what it is. Look, karmic situation. They're haunted. They, 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 this is not what they thought it was going to be. You know, they're in this wounded warrior energy now. They put themselves in that wounded warrior energy. Wow. Yeah. Now this person is seeing you as their soulmate and wish fulfillment, wanting to rush in, um, in this emperor energy. But this is any soulmate that would abandon or reject you or cheat, lie, or steal from you, 
they're karmic. A true divine partner wouldn't do that to you. So, all right, let's clarify mending. Clarify mending. Yeah, look at this. This person likes to use manipulation, black magic, whatever. They like to manipulate situations. You may receive a message. This person may tell you, look, I've changed. I'm stable now. They want to communicate, but they haven't. They're the cold, detached energy, and they just want to win at all costs. They're being rejected or abandoned, left out in the cold, and you have the Ten of Cups. They're under judgment, spying on you. You have blocked this person. And now they want to come in and give some sort of offer. After taking no action and no accountability for the pain they've caused you, they want to come in and give a love offer as if nothing has ever happened. They've made this decision. Mm -mm. You will have victory. You will be vindicated. The world will know what this person did to you. When everything falls apart in their life, the world will know. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, fate and destiny turning in your favor. You learn self-love. You love yourself. You set boundaries. You listen to your intuition and you're being elevated to this lady of luxury. This is financial abundance, financial security, self-worth, knowing your value, knowing how important you are. Is there anything else we need to know? Yeah. This devil's going to try and come in with a false apology. I do get this a false apology, but the truth is being revealed to the world. It's being illuminated to all. And you're this king, queen of swords. You speak your truth and you are not interested in playing games with this person. You are done, completely done. You know all that was taken from you, all that was stolen, held back, and now God protects you. It's over. With the death card, it's over. Ooh. You know, this person needs to stick with the choice they made. An empress doesn't take leftovers. An empress isn't an option. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. She knows her value and worth. She's not uh, going to settle for less than what she deserves. She's certainly not going to let someone play her again. All right, let's do the Cancerian Oracle. I have been seeing a lot of orbs. Thank you, Spirit, for being present. Happiness and success is headed your way. The collective needs to know. Continue to get more connected. Hydrate, meditate. Rely on your intuition. <laughs> Abundance is headed your way. Wow, guys. For some of you, you could be traveling in the near future for work or fun. You're going to be celebrating. You are on the right path. <laughs> a new home. This keeps coming out. If you're manifesting a new home, guys, be patient because the universe is putting in the work to make it happen for you. You are gifted. They said, trust your gut. You're guided and you are protected. Let's get one more. Yep. Well, two fell out. <laughs> Fall back. No need to worry. Take a break. All will work out. And I see a career change for some of you as well. That's awesome. Because it's going to be in alignment with what you love. Doing more of what you love. So that's beautiful. A new beginning. New life. The best version of you. Attracting all that you want. All that you desire. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's use um, my Tasha's Divine Guidance deck, if I can find it. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. What do we need to know? Earth sign, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, guided towards your destined path or purpose. What does a collective need to know? You receive message through thoughts, words, dreams, and visions. Pay attention to your downloads. Whoever this person went to, this karmic third party, um, they are in legal issues now. They're having legal issues. 
Also, there's exposure. Like I said, with the Ace of Swords, truth's coming to light about the deception and the betrayals. They can't hide it any longer. You have spiritual gifts. You already know the truth, but the world is about to know the truth. Yep, guide it toward your destined path. They said it's time for you just to let go of pain, anger, bitterness, and resentment. Um, if you have a new beginning here. Um, don't let negative memories or thoughts from the past disturb you or bother you. They want you to redirect your thoughts to positive thinking. Okay. Let God take care of these people. Your ancestors are protecting you, watching over you, guiding you. From this false feminine, karmic feminine energy. Toxic friends. STDs. I mean, this is just a messy, messy energy. Taking a trip. We're taking a trip, taking a break in the near future. You are worthy. Make I am statements. Angels are with you, protecting you, and happiness, joy, and emotional fulfillment will be yours. That's beautiful. Bottom of the deck, abundance, financial stability, and blessings. Wow. That's beautiful, guys. Okay, this is the uh, reading I have for you. I will try to come on, back on later and do uh, an angel reading for you guys. Um, don't forget, if you're interested in scheduling a reading with me, you know how to find my scheduling link. And I love you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.